why is a shower such a great place to come up with new ideas and solutions to problems? Showers are idea incubators. I love living in them. I even considered uh, turning this, uh, this video into what's the NLP trainer's ideal um, <laughs> idea uh, uh, incubator, uh, other than Bali, where I am right now. I just finished your training here. There's a neurological reason for this, um, and let me tell you what that is. When you're in the shower, there are two things happening. Well, one, your stimulus is reduced, and two, you're put in a positive emotional state. So let me go into this visually. Visually, there is less to look at. Often there's very little new information. Often it's a familiar environment. So there isn't much to look at here. So there, the stimulus is greatly reduced. Auditory, there isn't much to listen to other than white noise, which also relaxes the brain, puts it in a different state, a different uh, brain wave. Kinesthetically, there is no movement. Uh, yeah, you have to hold yourself up from gravity, which is work, but you're not moving around, you're not doing anything. So you're actually, uh, the stimulus of the kinesthetic sensation is reduced. Also by the fact that there is no temperature difference between the air and your skin. So it's a less, again, less stimulus. All of those different things combined also create a positive emotion. Emotions of relaxation, comfort, peace, etc. Now, so that allows for the shower to be an ideal incubator. Now, how can this be useful for yourself as an NLP practitioner or as a coach or something like that? Well, think about this any further. What would happen if you asked your clients to take a shower before the coaching session? Or what would happen if you took a shower yourself before the coaching session? I often actually do. What would happen if you created coaching tasks or tasks for self-coaching and you reflect and do them in the shower? You need to be there anyway uh, in order to get clean. Uh, what would happen if you asked your clients to take a shower after the session? Think about all of those different things. What about doing NLP visualizations in the shower? you get the idea. You can even goal set in the shower. Uh, we have a major NLP hub going live pretty soon. If not, it's already live by the time that you see that. We have live training in Bali, uh, Miami, Los Angeles, Amsterdam, Mexico. We have online training from Joshua Tree. We have a massive NLP hub going live with tons of free resources, techniques for coaches, self-coaching, personal development. Um, go check it out. Uh, you find all the hop-off points for all this information at globalnlptraining.com. See you around.